What's up everybody, welcome back to Case Digital. My name is Zach and in today's video we're answering the question of how to list files or list all the files or folders in a directory in Python. So without further ado, let's hop right in and start coding. So in one of my previous videos, I showed you, and I'll list it up here in the, up here in the, wherever it pops up, um, but I showed you basically how to list all the files or folders in a directory in the terminal. So essentially I could say something like ls down here and you'll see like, hey look, there's all my files and there's a folder and whatnot. So um, I'm gonna show you how to do that in Python because I have this basic folder, which is the, the folder, the root folder to my um, basic, my YouTube tutorials, Python stuff. And if I go in here and I just print this out, so dir to list, this program will essentially just show you the, the path that we're going to, the, the path that we're gonna try and list of all its contents to, right? So how do we go about listing the, the contents of this path? Well, you need to use a built-in library called OS. So I'm gonna say import OS. And then so from this, there is actually a, and we're gonna list everything out. So we're gonna use a for loop to help us do that. By essentially doing, so for, um, and I'm gonna say it's gonna be a file or dir in, and then this is where the, the magic comes in, right? This is the command, this is why we're using OS to help us list it. We can do os.listdir. Now what this will do is it'll list all everything in, it's basically like calling the command ls-a, um, where it will give you everything that's in there. So it'll give you all the, the hidden folders or all the, the stuff that leads with a dot and you know files and folders and whatnot. So I can then just pass in our path to that. So dirt a list. And then if I run this, what we'll see is you'll see something like, so we'll print this out too. So we'll print um, file, file order. So when we run this, you should essentially see, pull this up here, and we'll reset this terminal so that we can get a better picture of everything. And then now we have, there it is, all of the files and folders and hidden, you know, the stuff that leads with a dot that you don't see typically. Um, but you can see that it's not in any order. So this is basically in whatever order when you call it a, a list dirt that it basically grabs. So how do we fix it? How do we get this to be an ordered thing? We want to alphabetical, you know, alphabetize whatnot. What you can do is to sorted and then, oops, then we'll do this. Now, basically if I call this on our, on its own, I could do something like this and I can say uh, dir info is equal to this. Now what this is going to return is an ordered list and then I can just do the exact same thing. Boom, just like that, I can say, go through that and then give us the the, the ordered, right? The ordered uh, contents of this list or this the contents of this list in an ordered format. And so now you'll see this looks something similar to that of when I do ls dash l. A, which will give me this and then kind of a mix it's like not the full thing if you do ls dash l let me split this terminal over here so if i do um cd dot dot get back here reset this what you'll see is i'm in the same folder and i do ls dash a this is going to give me everything but in more of a column format but it does still have all of the, the folders now the only thing that's different is this shows you also the dot which means the current folder as well as dot dot meaning that there's a folder up above, right? Um, whereas this one doesn't have it because it's just listing the contents. So it's not referencing anything outside of it or in it because everything that's just listed is already in it. So, but you do see the dot. Now, if I do an ls dash la, this gives me, now this isn't an ugly format, but it gives me all the information per each thing. So if I kind of slide this over, you'll see that it gives me more information than what this does, which is why I say doing this kind of lister is a mix between them because the dash a will force everything, or the dash l will force everything to be um, on its own line, which is why, which is basically what this print is doing. Um, but it's not also giving us further information. So, but this is basically how you can list the um, files uh, or the files or directories within Python. This is how you do it. But how, like, I want to add one more thing is how do you know which one is a which, right? Because in our terminal, usually there's some sort of color scheme that shows like folders are this color, files are this color and whatnot. Well, here we just have a bunch of stuff, right? It's all one color. It's just the terminal. It's just string output basically. So how do we know if it's a file or is a directory? So let's show you how to do that right now. All right. So to tell whether or not we have a file or we have a directory, what we can do is utilize, um, there is a sub modular class uh, or class within the OS. So we can do os.path. Now this will do everything with kind of deal with everything around the path information of on the OS. So if I do path dot and I say is, you can see there's different things that says, hey, is abs meaning is an absolute path? Is it is it a directory? Is it a file? Is it a symbolic link? Um, or if it's a mounting point, right? So we're gonna look at these two, is dir and is file. So if I do say is dir, is dir, and I pass it the file or dir, 
What this will do, and let's print this out. So actually, I'm just gonna take this and then we're gonna do a comma and then we're gonna do F string. So is dir, and then we'll just put that in there right there, right? So if I run through this, I just run through this one more time. You'll see that as it's going through, we're getting things like, let's see if anything's true. And I think, oh yeah, okay. So it's showing that none of this is uh, a dir. And the reason being is because this is not the complete path, right? The complete path to this file, like if you just gave it a string, it needs to kind of know a little bit more information. So I can say file, file, oops, file order path is equal to, and this is a trick how to combine it. You're gonna do os.path.join. Now what this does will take the information provided here, um, or excuse me, the information from this guy. And since we're listing this, it'll take this and then add the slash. And then I can put whatever I want here and it'll give us a nice pretty path. So, and I'm just gonna put this here. And so what we can do here now is take this, put it right in that. And now if we run this, we should get some trues or falses. Um, and you'll see that like when we go through that, the .ds store file, that's a, a mat cached file. That is just a file. That's, so that's going to be false. The git, the .git, that's a dirt because that's all for this repo. All the contents, there's more files and folders within that context that show uh, more about this GitHub repo. Um, so we can go down through this and we can say, yeah, like this license file is not a, um, that's a file. It's not a directory but we have this profiling and packages those have files from different in past videos that I've done so how then do we use this well we could essentially do something where it's like uh, we can say if os dot path dot um, is there is there is a file oop, file or der path then we're gonna print out file der path and we'll just say something like is a directory now I'm gonna copy this whole thing. And then this is where we can use that dot is file path. Cause it's gonna do the exact same thing, but then it's just gonna, rather than checking if it's a directory, it's gonna check if it's a file. And now we can run our script again. And you get something that is similar to that of LS dash A or your LS output where you can know that, look, when I go through this from the bottom, like this is a file, this is a directory, this is a file, here's a directory, here's a bunch of directories, here's a file, here's a lot of directories because this should mostly be full of directories, um, but you get a few different things that are within there. So this is how you can list files um, of a directory or list the files or directories of a given directory um, in Python. And all you have to do is basically run this os.lister um, Function, pass in the path of the directory, not a file, of the directory that you want to list. And then it'll give you a list of all the file names in that. Now, again, it'll just give you the file name. So if you want that file path, you need to do something like this path.join, give it the, the directory, the list that you, or the path that you passed in, um, and then the file name, and then that'll give you that complete file path. So I hope you found this useful. If you have, please hit that like and sub consider subscribing to the channel. And if you have any questions, leave it in the comments below. And until next time, keep on programming.